In section 2.5, we will be looking at the measures of center of a data set. Let's start with the mean. Mean is the average of a set of observations. Remember, the average is the sum of the observations divided by the number of observations. There are different notations for the, the mean of a population and the mean of a sample. The mean of the population is given by mu, which is the sum of all the data values divided by the number of total data values. Sample is given by x bar. Once again, x bar is the sum of all the data values divided by the number of data values. Note, mu is pronounced mu, and x bar is pronounced x bar. The mean is easily influenced by skewed distributions and outliers, which we will look at later on. And it's most appropriate for symmetric and unimodal distributions. So remember, mean is most appropriate when your distribution is symmetric and unimodal. If it's skewed, then the mean is easily influenced and may not be the best measure of center. The median is the midpoint of the distribution. It is a number such that half of the observations fall ab above and half of the observations fall below. So think of the middle for median. How do you find the median? Um, first, we must uh, sort the list from smallest to greatest. If the number of data values is odd, the median is a number located ex in the exact middle of the sorted list. If the number of data values is even, then the median is the mean of the two middle numbers. Now the benefits of a median, it's resistant or robust. It does not change much when data include outliers and are less affected by skewness. So if your data is skewed, then a median is a better measure of the center than the mean. Mode is simply the most commonly occurring value in the distribution. Think most. If no value is repeated, then there can be no mode. Data can also be bimodal if there are two modes, or multimodal if there are more than two modes. Here's an example. In a particular neighborhood, there are six houses for sale. The prices in thousands of dollars are as follows. 225000 220000 265000 244000 230000 and 225000 We want to calculate the mean, median, and mode for the sample data. Let's start with the mean. Recall that the mean is the sum of each data value divided by the number of data values. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 data values. Let's add those all up. 225 plus 220 plus 265 plus 244 plus 230 plus 225 divided by 6. If we add all these up, our mean is going to be 234.8 in hundreds of and thousands of dollars. So 234.8 thousands of dollars. The median, for well, for the median, we have to first have a sorted list, which means we have to sort the list from smallest to lowest value. So let's start with the smallest value, that's 220, then we got 225, then we have another 225, then we have 230, then we have 244, and then finally we have 265. So since we have an even number of values, the median will be the average of the two middle values. The two middle values are 225 and 230. An easy way to look at this is you take the number of data values, which is 6, and divide that by 2. So in this case, we have 6 values divided by 2, which means the middle values are going to be the third and the fourth value. So 225 and 230. If we take the average of 225 and 230, so we take 225 plus 230 divided by 2, this will give us 227.5. 
So our median is 227.5. Our mode is simply the most um, commonly occurring number, or most frequently occurring number. That's going to be 225. So our mode is going to be 225. Now here's a question. Are the mean and median relatively close to each other? In this case, yes, they are. Because this, this data set is uh, symmetric and unimodal which means that the mean and the median will be fairly close to each other. Now let's say that in that same neighborhood, a seventh house is put up for sale. Okay, the prices in $1,000 are as follows. 225,000, 220,000, 265,000, 244,000, 230,000, 225,000. But now the seventh house is going to be 845,000. Notice that this is an outlier because uh, the eight hundred forty-five thousand ho dollar house is uh, sig a significant distance away from the mean. Okay, so this is an outlier. Now let's ha let's see how the outlier is going to affect the mean and the median. So let's first calculate the mean. Okay, just like before, we would add up each of the data values. So we got two twenty-five, two twenty. 265, 244, 230, 225, and 845. This time we have seven houses for sale, so we divide this by seven, and uh, our mean is going to be 322.0. Okay, now let's look at our, our, our median. For our median, we have to put this in uh, ascending order, smallest to largest. So we have 220, then we have two 225s, then we have 230, we have 244, we have 265, and we have uh, 845, the outlier. Now, because uh, our data set has an odd number of values, we're going to look at the middle value, which is 230. This, this will be the fourth value. Again, if you want to use a little trick, you take the number of values, which is 7, uh, divided by 2, which gives you 3.5. It always rounds to the next, um, next whole number, always round up. Even if this was 3.1, we would always round up, which is going to be 4. So we're looking for the fourth value. 1, 2, 3, 4. Our fourth value is 230. So the median is going to be equal to 230. Now in this case, are the median and the mode, sorry, are the mean and the median relatively close to each other? The mode we're not going to worry about because the mode is the same. It's uh, just 225. Are the mean and the median relatively close to each other? This time, they are not. Why? Because the mean because the mean is sensitive and thus affected by the outlier. So the outlier, it pulls the mean uh, towards it. So here's what this is saying. This is saying that in this particular neighborhood, if we just looked at the mean, the average house cost $322,000, which is not true because most houses are in the 200,000s. So this outlier, it takes the average, the, the mean value of this neighborhood and it puts it at 322, which is not the case. So the median is a much better indicator of the center. The median is 230, which is about right. The, the average uh, sale price uh, of this neighborhood is about 230,000. So 230 is much more of an accurate indicator than 322. So when there's an outlier, when your distribution is skewed, the median is a much better indicator of the center than the mean. OK, so when to use mean and when to use the median to measure the center. When the distribution is symmetric, we would use the mean. When the distribution is skewed, we would use the median. Here's a technology tip. You can go to this website. It's a free website with free calculators, uh, sacstats.weebly.com. 
and you would click on one quantitative and enter data, your own data. Uh, if you want, you can uncheck histogram and plot in order to um, get what the, the mean and the median are. So here's a, a quick demonstration of that. I'm going to pull up the website real quick. So this is sacstats.weebly.com. You would click on, uh, under summary statistics, you would click on one quantitative, and you would choose your own data values. And in your own data values, I'm just going to use the, the data values from um, the, the last example. So uh, our data values were 225, and you can just separate these using a space bar. We had, we had 225, we had 220, we had 265, we had 244, we had 230, we had 225, and we had 845. Okay, so if you look at the um, if you look at the mean, it's 322, which is what we had. If you look at the median, it was 230, which is exactly what we calculated. So uh, this is a way to check your answer once you have calculated that by hand. OK, so the, the last part is calculating the mean from a frequency table. And we will do this in class.